Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach May with the US Penny Stock Highlights on Monday, the 31st of August. Starting off with Capricorn Therapeutics, uh, where it looks like we've got just the, the beginnings of a new uh, bullish phase, almost identical really to this one that we had in the middle of uh, July. Uh, so hopefully uh, either that we have a rebound off the uh, uh, rising April trend channel around the $5 level, or you can wait for an end-of-day close above the 50-day moving average currently at $5.96. But we've snapped that line uh, from July, and uh, hopefully the shares will move on and move up. Uh, the target here, the top of the rising trend channel from earlier in the year up towards the $10.60 level. Uh, next uh, stock is uh, Chiasma, which um, is also looking rather encouraging at the moment. Uh, here you can see that... Uh, We've had a break uh, above both the uh, 50 and 200 day moving averages, uh, the, uh, the green and uh, rather the, the blue and uh, orange lines there for, at $4.96. Uh, uh, what's interesting here is that um, we've got the, uh, uh, the 50 day line crossing uh, below uh, a falling 200 day line. So it's not actually snapping a dead cross um, uh, sell signal. So that's a uh, even more of a plus point. But anyway, the view at the moment is while we're above the 200-day line, $4.96, looking for the top of the rising trend channel uh, from earlier this year, uh, back in uh, actually uh, back in November, in fact. Uh, and that November resistance line projection heading as high as $8, hopefully over the next uh, month to six weeks. At this stage, everybody back below the uh, March uptrend line, $4.50 really uh, delaying or cancelling even the bull scenario. Uh, another stock with a healthy looking uh, glow to it uh, today is um, Evolus. And uh, the reason why is that it looks as though we are just starting a bullish maneuver here with the shares um, bouncing off the floor of this uh, rising trend channel from March, which I'm just trying to expand at the moment. Uh, that comes after uh, an extended base in of July. And uh, all we're really, really looking for now is an end of day close above the 50-day uh, moving average at $3.86, uh, $3 rather. And uh, if we can get that, then over the next uh, one to two months, we're looking for a top of uh, March trend channel target as high as $7 plus, which is obviously currently the area, both at the top of the trend channel and the 200-day uh, moving average. Stop loss here at the moment, back below $3.25, uh, $3 which is... Uh, the uh, last, oct uh, last August uh, support area intraday for the shares. Uh, next stock uh, is one which um, I think I've looked at before, but uh, here we're looking at a situation where um, we've got um, we got the right uh, shares up. We've got uh, a near vertical uh, move to the upside over the last... Um, a uh, couple of weeks, uh, breaking uh, neckline resistance uh, here uh, around the, uh, I suppose that's the $1.50 level and above $1.50, the, the bull argument looks pretty well set fair. In terms of what the upside uh, could or should be, uh, we're probably looking towards that line of resistance there from um, back in uh, December 2018 towards $3.30. And the time frame on that, the, the current rate of knots actually uh, as soon as uh, the end of September, perhaps going into the first part of October. So a one month to uh, six week time frame on that uh, uh, call. Uh, basically, if you're cautious, probably the, the best stop loss at the moment, actually back below the um, initial 2020 peak uh, sub 180. So probably 180, uh, a tighter stop loss there rather than risking all the way down to uh, $1.50. Flex Shopper is the uh, next uh, contender, and uh, here we can see that uh, shares uh, putting on a, a good performance over the last few days, breaking that line of resistance from uh, back at the beginning of February. That was running through uh, the one dollar eighty six area, and above that, uh, we're remaining in uh, sort of bullish mode. We've got the two hundred and the fifty day moving averages both um, rising at the moment, and that hints that they'll cross over over the next couple of weeks. The run-up to a gold cross, uh, golden cross uh, between the 50 and 200-day lines is normally the strongest part in the cycle, and this looks like what was uh, what we're seeing at the moment. Um, ideally, there's no break back below the two-dollar level, which was the last resistance in or the initial resistance in July, and that would take us up towards uh, the top of the channel uh, at three dollars uh, fifty plus. 
Moving on to uh, a stock which also has a very uh, healthy look at the moment, uh, Green Lane Holdings. The reason for the relative enthusiasm is that uh, we're also um, at the beginning stages, of what likely to be the beginning of a move to the upside. So we've broken that falling wedge and broken about the 200-day moving average at $2.83. Um, an end-of-day close above that today should be enough to take the shares up towards uh, the top of the rising trend channel from February this year, currently pointing as high as $4.78. And that could be hit as soon as the end of uh, September at the current rate of progress. Uh, stock which I've covered recently, but is back again uh, on the front foot. Uh, here we can see that um, uh, Genworth, uh, after breaking that line of resistance from June, uh, sort of slid away, but never actually uh, held below its 50-day moving average of $2.33. Current view is probably that while we're above uh, that uh, in initial August resistance at $2.72, uh, we're still looking for further upside, and that could be up towards that April resistance line projection currently pointing at $4 uh, plus, hopefully by the end of September. Uh, another stock to uh, feast your eyes on if you're uh, uh, in a bullish mood at the moment, GameStop, uh, GameStop Corporation. Uh, rather complex uh, history here. Obviously, you can see all these broken trend lines and various setups that the shares have had. But uh, in the recent past, uh, really, we're breaking that neckline resistance at $5.00. Uh, call that five dollars uh, fifty, and above that, looking for a resistance line uh, uh, journey up towards uh, or meeting of the resistance line from January, currently pointing at eight dollars. That's also, uh, I suppose, uh, to getting towards the area of the uh, late two thousand and nineteen resistance line projection, uh, currently up to even as high as nine dollars as a best case scenario. Uh, both levels hopefully hit as soon as the end of next month, especially while we hold obviously above the $5.50 level. Just uh, three stocks to go now. First is uh, Kindred Biosciences. Obviously difficult to resist anything in the biotech pharma area at the moment. It really is absolutely flying. Um, uh, the, uh, the setup here is that we bounced off the uh, uh, bottom of a broadening triangle um, at the beginning of the month. Uh, we've broken a Converging triangle in the 50-day moving average um, uh, at the end of last week at four dollars three cents, and uh, while we're above uh, the uh, initial August resistance at four dollars thirty-seven, looking towards that uh, resistance line projection from March, the top of the broadening triangle, as high as six dollars fifty. Hopefully, well before the end of ne uh, next month. Uh, next stock is um, one which is. Uh, in line with uh, many of the other ones uh, we've seen at the moment today, looking quite rampant. Uh, we've broken, uh, I suppose, what, what could be described as near-term neckline resistance from March. A uh, little handle there on the formation, uh, very encouraging indeed. And uh, at least while we're above uh, $5 and uh, the recent uh, f uh, floor of the uh, uh, flag for uh, late August at $5, looking up to that uh, November resistance line projection currently pointing as high as $9. That could be seen over the next four to six weeks. Uh, last talk of the day is one I've covered quite recently, but uh, has uh, certainly proved itself uh, over the last uh, session or today's session. Here we're bouncing off the uh, floor of this rising trend channel uh, from the beginning of the year on, on uh, View Ray. Uh, and the 50-day moving average as well. So at least while above the 50-day line and the tri price channel floor at $2.52. Looking for at least a retest of uh, August resistance at $3.50 over the next couple of weeks and over the next month to six weeks up to the, ch up to the channel top as high as $4.68. That it, that's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.